outrageous, fun, it's unique. It's different. I've owned a lot of cars, but I think there's something about creating your own car, and in, in this case, even more than that. If I was to describe Laboda in three words, it would be outrageous fun in the sun. <laughs> I can't count. Can we do that over again? Sure. <laughs> A lot of people ask me where the idea for Laboda came from. I really don't know. I guess I just thought it would be cool to put a boat on top of a convertible. The original car had to be inexpensive because my wife wouldn't let me spend the money. I found that convertible LeBaron for $700, right around the corner in fact. And uh, once I had procured that, then I went and looked for the boat. I ended up having to buy this one for $100. And when I had them both, then that's when I started the project. It only took me three days to actually complete it. I knew that I was going to have to cut all around the bottom of the boat so that I could just have the shell. It was not fun, it was hot out, and those two days of cutting, it was long and itchy. <laughs> the LeBaron is the basic power plant underneath there. It is a front-wheel drive V6 3-liter engine, 20 miles a gallon around town, 25 on the highway. Speed-wise, I think I got it up to 100 miles an hour. Don't really think I need to or want to go any faster than that. Handles like a boat, pretty much. You've probably added four or 500 pounds on it. It's a foot wider on each side, but uh, you kind of just get used to driving it. It's fun. People either laugh at me because I'm crazy or just laugh because it's just a fun thing. I put an outdrive on the back. Recently, I hooked up a windshield washer to that, so the water shoots 30 feet. I can turn the outdrive this way and that way, and that way I can squirt people on both sides of the sidewalk. I drive Laboda almost every day. It has a top that you can put up so it can be self-contained and heated, but most of the time I like to drive it when the weather's nice. It's very reliable, very dependable. My wife doesn't like riding in it because it does attract too much attention. If I go into a store, I can leave it out in the parking lot, and usually when you come back, you find a, a small crowd of people looking at it or taking pictures. Never seen anything like it. It's so rad. I think this vehicle is awesome. Just the way it's put together and just a uh, work of art. When I was driving, it looked like it was literally on the water, like going down the road. My wife tolerates the car. She does not like getting in and out of it because there's no uh, lady-like way of climbing over the side. It's not her favorite car. I've done rides for charity, and that's kind of my main thing to keep my wife happy because she thinks it's all about me. The question I get asked most is, does it float? It may float once. You want to go try it with me? <laughs>